Hello everybody! Welcome. We are here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort. We are about to walk in and see none other than Hoop D Do musical review. And we have not seen this in so long. They just brought it back from COVID. And this video is gonna be the full, uninterrupted, high definition, full show. So if you've ever wanted to see the show and you want to see how it's changed, they've made some changes since uh, it came back from COVID, um, stay tuned, because it's gonna be an awesome episode.
our new theater view to all you pioneers. Yeah, and all you weary travelers, we hope we're a sight for sore eyes. Yep, yeah, and in his case, the sore the better. You look who's talking. I'm now, sorry. now, I got an idea for the show a while back, and Dolly joined up right quick. That's right, Jim, because every show needs their shining star. Yeah. We're gonna get one. <laughs> You're gonna get one. Oh, get out of here. We got lucky and found Johnny and Claire up in Chicago. Oh, and it's awful. <laughs> we were stranded and out of a job. <laughs> we were a between engagements, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> then the lovely Miss Flora came along and. And we've been making beautiful music ever since. <laughs> I am also here. <laughs> Yes, you are. This is a uh, six bit. Uh -huh. He just sort of tags along after me. Now, Dolly Drew, don't you go getting your hopes up. Oh, six bit, look, when you want me to tell these folks how we really found no, Dolly. it. So no. he was sneaking out of Dolly. town Dolly. without paying his hotel bill. Dolly. 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 Well, then maybe you ought to see things more. Well, well then maybe you uh -huh. ought to. Uh -huh. You ought to take more. That's better. Great. Bye. So you see, folks, we come from all over the country, and I bet y'all had to. Why, well, there must be folks out there from every state. That's right, Jim, and some from overseas. <gasps> yeah, like Canada. <laughs> Claire, let's find out where everybody comes from. Okay. Dolly, Claire. I didn't know that you two were going to be here tonight. I thought you both were coming tomorrow night. <laughs> well, if I knew that you were going to be here tonight, I would have gotten y'all that table right up front near me. <laughs> My love, do you know these kind of folks? Yes, Johnny, these are my best friends in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> well, since these are your best friends in the whole world, why don't you tell everybody where they're from? <laughs> Johnny, you think I don't know where my best friends in the whole entire world are from? <laughs> um, tell them where you're from. <laughs> like I said, they're from the UK.
where I'm sitting, Jim? Uh, you're sitting on the piano. This is where you sit when you want to sing a song. <laughs> you want to sing a song? Hold on, I'm getting my picture took. <laughs> Six bits, we've got a show going on. Oh, man. <laughs> so why, why are you sitting on the piano in the singing spot? This is spot? the singing song spot, Jim. Right. So why? Everybody knows if you sit here, you get to sing a song. You want to sing a song? I'm sitting in the singing song spot, Jim. Do y'all want to hear a song? Yeah! Go ahead. All right, here we go. Professor, y'all are going to like this. Well, I always heard about it, ain't you sure, that a man's best friend is a man to cur. I kind of favor the hog myself. I got a hand for the hog. You say a hog ain't nothing but a porky thing, a little porky feet, and a nose to ring you. Pickle and beat folks, how about a hand for the hog? It's time to a hog. <laughs> Still here. <laughs> What's your name? Trish. Trish. Where are you from, Trish? Florida. From Florida. Yeah. All right, stand up, Trish. Come, you come here. You stand right here. You're, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna demonstrate the sound a hog makes to all these people. Are you ready, Trish? Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Um, <laughs> it's like a pig. It's like a pig. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Oink. <laughs> Trish, that, that's that's what a, that's the sound a hog makes in a children's book. I want I want to hear the real thing, Trish. No, no, nobody's coming to help you, Trish. It's, it's just you and me. It's you and me, just you and me and 300 of your closest friends. Trish, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Fancy feet steps. Oh, I would love to, Six Bits. 
get you just watch me, okay? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
said, short of breath, not short of health. Come on. <laughs> goodbye, Johnny. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, Six Fins. Goodbye, Claire. Say goodbye, Claire. Goodbye, Claire. Oh. <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> Why, that Johnny and Claire, they sure do some fancy dancing, don't they? Yeah, they sure do. You know I used to be a dancer like that? Oh, you did? Yeah, I had to give it up, though. I had all those rabid fans chasing after me. I had to keep them all hidden. Oh. Thinking about the rabid fans that be chasing after you? <laughs> I keep them all hidden, too. <laughs> Dolly Drew, you're always chasing after me, trying to get me to marry you. Marry you? Why, <laughs> six bit smoke them, I would not have your boots on your mouth. I'll fuck if you were the last quitter. Oh, then you stop it. Hey, Dolly, you cut that out. You know I got a week back. When'd you get that? About a week back. Oh, stop no. it. <laughs> Seriously, I heard it dancing at my sister's wedding. She married an Irishman. Oh, really? No, O'Reilly. Oh, get on out of here. Enough of the foolishness. All right, folks, it is time for the real pretty part of our show. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> right now, we have our very own Flora and Jim, accompanied by Jack B. Nimble on the banjo, out in the center of the house, and they're going to sing you some mighty pretty songs. Let's give them a hand. Thanks, John. Thank you, folks. You know, some of the prettiest songs going around are about home. And no matter how far you travel, the music of home always stays with you. Ocean door. I long to see you away, you rolling river. Oh, Shenandoah, I long to see you away. I'm bound away across the wide Missouri. Tis seven years since last I see
guess what? I learned the words. Oh. I learned the words, so I can sing the song, and Jim can take a break. Jim, you take a break now. Uh, now, six bits, Jim's going to sing the song because that's the way we practiced it. Johnny, the way I sing it, it'll make you cry. <laughs> I have no doubt. Uh, but Jim's going to sing the song, that's what we practiced it, but I think there's a special part in it just for you. A special part? Just for you. Just for me. Jim's going to tell you all about it over there. Hey, Jim. <laughs> all right, now, folks, we got a new song for you, but i got to warn you, it's mighty sad. So don't be afraid to get those handkerchiefs out and just break down and cry if you need to. It's, it's just one of those songs. Yeah. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a mine, lived the miner, 49er, and his daughter, Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. You were lost and gone forever. Echo, sorry, Valentine. Six bits. Jim. The name of the song is Clementine, not Valentine. I messed up. <laughs> yep. Drove she to Chris in the water oh, every morning oh, and just at oh, night. Oh, get a full oh, 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 a splinter. Oh, a splinter. Oh, fell into the full and fried. Trish. <laughs> I should have known. Trish. 
<laughs> How I miss my Clementine. Oh, Flora. Meant 
to do that. No one the cares of life's busy throng. Now wiggle it all the way down to the bottom. Mm. Beautiful dreamer of the country. <laughs> Side. 
died. <laughs> Not no more than I am. <laughs> oh, you get back up here! Yeah! Oh, Greg, toot in her ear, she'll follow you anywhere. I sure will. Have you forgotten about our contest? No, I forget about your silly old corn oh, test. that's my side. Push your chairs back, give yourselves plenty of room, because we are going to stomp our feet. Oh, let me see you stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp, let me see you stomp your feet.
I could have your attention before you dig into that delicious strawberry shortcake. And now, we are proud to present the spectacle you have all been waiting for. Our mammoth, one and only, historical pageant, pageant never before seen in these parts. Why, this presentation is of such magnitude that our very own Johnny, Claire, Flora, and Dolly are out in the audience selecting four helpers to come up on stage and totally embarrass themselves. So, if they grab your hand, only if they grab your hand, come on up, if you see, our pageant is a sight for the eyes, a blessing to the ears, and it will definitely leave a lump in your throat. And ladies and gentlemen, now I think we got everybody. They're coming up. Here they come. Now you're probably wondering how we selected these four helpers. Well, they've been selected for four very special reasons. Number one, on the basis of... Talent! Yes, talent! Number two, on the basis of... Charisma! Of course. Number three... Bravery! Yes, and number four, on the basis of... Intelligence! All right, folks, sick about and musicians are fanfare. Go ahead. 
Okay, heel. Excuse me, have any of you seen a Mr. Crockett? You, did you say Crockett? Yep. Dave, it's for you. Ooh. I understand you've got yourself an educated bear. Yep, I even taught him to sing. Tanner. No, baritone. <laughs> um, any more bad bear jokes like that, you'll end up just like one of your relatives. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> Dave, how could you do this to my next of skin? <laughs> oh, that's it. I'm leaving. And me too. Wait a minute, Miss Oakley. Teddy and I, we got ourselves a dancing act. Well, let's see. Here we go. Woo. Now take it back, okay. Teddy. Now what? Now take it away, Teddy Bear.
each of our participants, we have an award of bravery for going above and beyond the call of duty and helping us make this the best pageant ever. Here we have Myla, who was our Texas Ranger! Hey, Myla, we're going to do something special, and we're going to make you an honorary member of the Pioneer Hall Players, which gives you all the rights and privileges that we have. Don't get too excited, because we don't have any. <laughs> All right, Myla, take a bow. <laughs> So there you have it. That's the brand new hoop de doo musical review. Um, I just absolutely love the show, but I also love the food. Like, I am all about the food. Yeah. I mean, what do you think of the food? Oh, I love the food. I love um, southern cooking and um, country food, and cornbread is my absolute favorite thing. So, mm. yeah. And strawberry shortcake? I yeah. mean, come on. And it's unlimited amounts. I mean, they do give you sort of like the family style. It comes out and everything. They bring it out. But you can get as much as you want. And you just keep asking for more and more and more. Um, which I love because I like to eat. I'll be honest. Um, but I just think the show is amazing. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Um, definitely encourage you to come see Hoop Dee Doo Review when you get a chance. It's one of the best shows, especially dinner shows, of anywhere on Disney property. I think it's my favorite probably. Thanks again for joining us. We will see you again tomorrow for another brand new episode. Until then, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>